Hello, welcome to another lit tutorial. Today we're going to be making neon signs out of acrylic and uh, neon LED uh, strips. Um, I'm going to be using Lightburn to make the acrylic. I will post a link down below of where I got my uh, neon lights. Okay, let's get started. So today we'll be making this MNA design which stands for Matt and Alex, my sons. It'll be two layers of acrylic. The first layer here, we will do it uh, using six millimeter acrylic and the second layer here, we'll be using three millimeter acrylic. This is where we will glue our strips and these red slots here will be where the wires will pass through. The strips are actually um, soldered in series and the top layer right here, we'll just have these cutouts for the LED strips to sit on so it acts like a support for the strips so it won't move around. Uh, this front layer here will be glued on top of this back layer. So how I made this is it's actually just a font. I didn't draw this myself. The, this font is called Neon Tubes 2. I'll post a link down below as well. Uh, you, so you can install that font and you can use this exact same font for your design. Um, you can use pretty much any font. Just make sure that it's not too many jagged edges because the neon strips can't bend as much as you would like. This font is really nice because there's a lot of rounded edges. Because if you bend the strips too much, it'll actually break an LED inside. So you don't want that to happen. Yeah, so basically, I just typed M and A using that font and put it inside this rectangle here. And I centered it in the rectangle. The thickness of the strips are act is actually 8 millimeters. So I resized this whole thing to so that the thickness of these letters are also 8 millimeters. So the uh, strips can sit in it uh, nicely. And same for this one. I this one is pretty much a copy of this, but I added this blue. These blue lines are cut lines as well, but it's not gonna cut all the way through the acrylic. It's just used as a guide when I glued these two pieces of acrylic together, and I uh, just want to make sure that the letters align properly. And these slots, you can make it by selecting the letters, and then you can offset it to a certain amount. And make sure you select resulting object and don't delete the original and make it rounded and inwards. Um, and then change it to red. You'll actually have an offset of that shape inside. And you can just use uh, all these tools here to create these slots. And make sure that you have slots as well for connecting each shape together. So there'll be wire is coming through from this M here and there's going to be a wire coming out and crossing over to this shape here of the N and then this shape here there's going to be a wire passing through to this shape here and then there's going to be a wire passing through this shape here all the way to the A and it'll all be connected in series okay and that's pretty much how you create the design for this. Um, send it over to your laser cutter, cut both out, and then you can assemble it. So that's the first layer, right? one here will be the front this is where the neon lights will go and this one here will be behind this piece of acrylic like this so the next step we're going to have to cut these neon lights so every inch is a black line and that's the cut points where you can cut if you end up um, not matching up with the black line then you're just gonna have to add an extra length here until you can cut it from the black line 
And once you do that, you will just have to um, take out this rubber um, from the end of your uh, your lettering. And then you will, um, so inside here, there's actually a strip of LED and that strip of LED you can just fold over. So the next step, um, I'm just gonna have to go around and cut uh, the lengths for these. Okay, I have these uh, LED, um, neon LED strips that we just cut uh, to size. The next step is you're just gonna have to put it into these slots here. But first you have to take off the backing We got these two acrylics. This thinner piece where the slots for the wires are will go in the back. And this thicker piece will be in the front. So it'll be like this. And we'll, we're just gonna glue it right now. We'll be using this, uh, it's a hole glue. It's just pretty much a CA glue and then with an activator. And I'm going to put that on the edges because if we put it in the middle, it won't look good. Should be okay. That is our base. Next step is to actually put this in. And the wire has to go through the hole. Next thing I'm going to do is we have to wire all of these in series. All right, so after we wired everything in the back, as you can see, um, everything is in series. And we have this banana plug and it will be powered by a 12 volt power supply. If we just plug it in, it sh it should light up. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I have new videos. Um, I hope this helped you guys out and try it out at home. Alright, thanks. This is Laser Illusions Technology. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.